good late afternoon ladies and gentlemen this is lounging with lisa the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day why am i in a hat you ask my hair was just too out of control i couldn't take it it wouldn't stay in a banana clip or any of that jazz reason why i'm coming at you though is i've um secretly left mike rivero to come out and be with you because i'm really not wholeheartedly moderating moderating although i really should get with ron gibson and let him know um it's okay anyhow the reason why i'm with you is you know, I listen back to my videos, and um, I play them on a loop all day long. No, I'm, I do not, please. I don't know how you got, you can all put up with me sometimes, because I'm, like, so dumb. Well, I mean, I'll say stuff like, I think it's called, I believe it's called, I'm pretty sure it's this. Does that sound right? I'm not sure. I said it, I'm not sure if I have that name right. Well, I believe it is the, I mean... What is the deal with me? It's always something I'm not absolutely positive on anything, I guess. Like, including people's names, who I supposedly admire to the max. Like Richard Hall. There, I got that right. Richard Hall. And um, the, the, uh, Andrew Johnson. There, I did it. I didn't say, oh, it might be him. It could be him. It just quite feasibly could. I mean, what is wrong with me, ladies and gentlemen? And then I'll literally, another thing I noticed, of course, is that well, I try to choose my words carefully, so that, you know, uh, <laughs> like right now, <laughs> you know, I don't, because, oh my God, you would not believe people, yeah, you would, um, people fall in love, now, I've been over this 102 times, let's make it 103, people fall in love with a, um, a person of any kind, who might be a YouTube personality, who might be a politician, who might be a leader, who might be a football player, an actress, whatever the case may be. And if anything negative is said about that person, holy ghost, it's almost like you're offending the person who's a fan of the other person deeply. Does that make sense? Let me give you an example. First of all, I don't get all these notifications for my videos. I had absolutely no idea on God's green earth that a video I made, I don't know, a month ago maybe, maybe longer, called something to do with Unrig, that Unrig thing with Cynthia McKinney and that other gentleman who has three names. And I'm not real sure about him. I get a weird vibe off him. Okay, well, in the, when I was talking about how I had seen him interviewed on that Project Camelot with Carrie Cassidy, I was going to say I think that's her name, but I'm not going to say it. Carrie Cassidy. I know that's her name. <laughs> I didn't have very warm and fuzzy feelings about Carrie at that time. I'd seen her show a few times. Maybe she was having a bad month or something, the times I watched her. And so I simply mentioned that I felt she was a bit abrasive. I wasn't really taken to task for it. I have to say, the person who commented just asked me gently, what is it about, you know, why would you say that? I love her and all this stuff. I feel like, you know, what am I supposed to do? come out here and be madly in love with everybody I talk about. Oh my God, the wonders and beauty of Donald Trump or whoever. No, I don't think so, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, I'm going to criticize people. I'm going to give my opinion on them. At the time, I thought Carrie Cassidy was abrasive. Now, since then, I have looked into her a little bit more deeply. I've watched her being interviewed by somebody else and I could see connect with her on a human level. So, you know, that's all in the past. I, you know, clearly I don't come out here and call somebody, a, you know, I don't sit here and say, a oh, person X is an absolute son of a bitch. Sorry, I had to swear, mother. I, I'd like you to find me a time I did that, other than the time I was very upset about that VFW thing, but I didn't even call that guy a name. Uh, yeah, so, you know, as gentle as I try to be about things, Evidently, you know, it doesn't matter. I could land like a feather gently in the night and still somebody would be offended that I um, said something a little negative about their hero. Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, we need to let go of all the hero figures. Anybody out there right now considering me to be a hero, get over it because I ain't one. All right? You're probably saying, hell, we know that. We've known that for years. Since the late 70s when I started this gig. So anyhow, yeah, I've noticed that with um, many different people. Now, 
God, if that person's watching that asked me about Carrie Cassidy, I don't mean you specifically. If that was just the most recent example that I did see, and you were very kind about it, if you are watching, which I doubt you would be. I, you know, it was just one video I made. Who knows? But that was an example. An example, ladies and gentlemen. It's happened a lot of times. I, um, somebody one time thought, thought that I was referencing another YouTube person. And, and kind of took me to task about it. Like, you aren't really getting on Person X's case, are you? Well, maybe I was. I wasn't, though. So, at any rate, ladies and gentlemen, that's all. On. How the hell did I get wound up to this point? I don't know. I guess I'm really, now that I have this video series, um, you know, I think I try to be delicate. I think I try to impart information. I think I try to be... When I'm criticizing somebody, I do it in a maybe giving the benefit of the doubt to the point of probably driving most of you insane. But still, there are some out there that are going to just not be happy about it. And then also, of course, I wanted to come at you and make fun of myself because every day it's, oh, I think her name's that. I th it might be that. Well, I believe it was this. Well, did I pronounce that right? I keep forgetting what I was saying. Where was I, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know how you put up with me. I really don't. So, hats off. I see i got some new subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. I am really elated, and probably they're going to run to the hills. Um, you'll get used to my antics. Um, I have 170 people now, and really, honest to Pete, in all sincerity, that really, really makes me feel good. I'm elated. I'm delighted. I'm, dare I say, orgasmic. Thank you so much for joining in on the fun. Now, you probably won't like everything I say, but I try to say even the most negative things in a loving and tender manner, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to look at this one back before I post it because I know damn well some snowflake out there is going to freak out on me. Love you. Launching with Lisa, the video series, and has me launching. All coming out, your thoughts of the day. Join me, join others, drop your political identities, focus on issues, leave labels at the door, and just remember this. Everyone's a snowflake in his own way. I'm even snowflakeish about certain things. We are all sensitive about something, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just not sensitive on behalf of somebody else, is my point. Okay? Like, in other words, I guess I'm not going to sign off. In other words, I, I noticed this. No, I really even hate to use this label. I do. But I'm going to have to. I noticed it with so-called lefty or so-called liberal types that um, they are offended on behalf of others. Like, you can have... I don't even know, you know, an example offhand. Um, it, it just seems to me anyway, maybe I'm wrong, that they are offended on behalf of others. And let me go ahead and throw one in against the right wing, too, so that I'm not accused of being, uh, you know, one-sided on this jazz. Uh, yeah, Republi or not Republicans, but your right-wingers or far-right, whatever. They get, be they get offended, generally speaking, on behalf of God. You know, don't say that about my dear sweet God. Like, God, I think, can handle it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the creator of the universe and all this jazz, according to you, I think he can handle it if we take him to task a little bit, okay? You don't need to defend God, all right? Oh, my word. I might, okay, I'm sure I'm going to lose 18 subscribers right now. Love you. Bye-bye now.